my channel Mumbai Car Boy. Yes, uh, today we are here with Hulk. Uh, of course, as you know that I've got a new drone. This is the uh, Mini 3 Pro. If you've not seen uh, the few videos, go check my Instagram page. I'll put a link right now and you can go ahead and check it. So I've got a guard over here for uh, Hulk. I, of course, I've named the drone Hulk. For the remote control, I have got the um, silicon cover. All these links you will get in the description for the Amazon uh, links. Even this uh, little leg for to uplift the drone, uh, you know, when flying or when landing, especially. Now, the most important thing that was missing in the drone is as this Mini 3, uh, of course, it's a beautiful drone than the previous one that I had, the Mini 2. But the only thing that I was, uh, you know, finding there was as a fault is a DJI should have given four lights. Now, on the drone, I'm going to show you on all these uh, small demos in the video as well. These are the only two lights that are actually there for this drone. So what we have gone and done is we have gone ahead as of course you've read in the description as well. We have gone ahead and brought these strobe lights. Now these are basically seven colors LED with three flashing blinking modes. Aircraft strobe light. Okay, this is also for a uh, drone. So I've got this. This is a pro this is for 999 rupees. So that's only 1000 rupees. So I've done the unboxing. That's the reason this has come like this. Now what do you get with this? So I'll show it to you right here. So I'll let this go. So over here you see, you get two strobe lights. I'll show them later on how they how you actually operate them as well. You get two pouches separately where you have the uh, charging because these are the micro uh, USB uh, U, uh, micro uh, chargers that you have. So you have two ports as well that they've given you. Again, this is the USB port so you can plug it into any of the adapters and you get a velcro so now how do you you know people will ask me how do you actually stick it to the drone so you have to actually go ahead and put as a male and a female velcro they stick together so that's how so you stick one on the drone and you stick one on the uh, you know on on the uh, strobe light so this actually so put one here and then you just plug it in there so that's how you can actually go ahead and stick this off so now let's go ahead and show you uh, how these lights work so let's go ahead and now show you how to power these small things on. So of course, of course I've charged them and I've actually done a test as well. I'll give you a screenshot. I think I've saved the screenshot of the time with the stopwatch that I put. This were actually on for a good 12 minutes. When I was at work, I just left them on and put the timer stopwatch and it was on for 12 minutes. So you imagine you were flying the drone. It will not die off. It is going to still be there. Now these lights are mainly used for the night. So when you're flying in the night, for you to get more visibility of your drone because if you see in the video later on as well you will realize what i'm trying to say because uh, when you're recording the lights go off and when it's off recording then you will see the green lights you know on the drone so that's how let's go ahead and try and put this on so i have one in my hand so if you press and hold it if you press hold it it turns on so you can see it right here it turns on it has different colors that's the led right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put off the uh, light in the room and show you how bright it is. So let's go ahead and put off the lights of the room and show you how this works, okay, how bright this is. There you go, lights off and putting it on. So you see, it's so bright that actually it lights up this entire white wall that I have behind my, you uh, know, in my office. So this is how bright it is. We'll try and change the mode. This is the mode change. So this has become like more of a strobe light. And we'll change one more mode. You see, it's changing mode right now. So it's changing colors at the moment. So this is green. You see the white, red, green. This is blue. This is yellow. This is purple. This is blue again. And this is back to white. Now this is the stroke. This is the other pattern. Again, if you see, this is another pattern. So that's basically how effective this strobe light is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you how to put it on to the drone. So stay tuned. So before we go ahead and put the strobe light on the drone, I just remember one good point. Let's go ahead and fly Hulk in the night and show you how uh, this is, you know, how exactly it is not that visible in the night when it goes high without the strobe light and with the strobe light. So you have two different videos of how it looks with the strobe light after uh, with the strobe light and without the strobe light so we're going to do a comparison video so yes here we are with the uh, with hulk right now 
we're going to try and fly the drone uh, without the strobe lights and show you what the difference is with the strobe light without the strobe lights so right now you can see there are only two lights lighting up on the wings but when you press recording as i said earlier as well these lights go off and then you cannot see the drone in the night so that's what we're going to do we have got the uh, you know the drone connected to the rc and we're all ready to actually go ahead and fly Uh, the drone is flying so now we can see the green lights at the moment so i will tell uh, my my friend who's actually going and recording to actually show you once i say you know i will you will hear my voice in the background the drone is flying right now the right lights are green but as soon as i press recording on the screen on on the drone it, the lights go off so let's go ahead and do that we'll show you the drone right now so you can see the drone lights are now green okay we'll bring the drone a little down so you can see it properly the drones come right here so as soon as we press recording the lights will go off so that's the recording pressed on the drone so right now the drone is recording but you cannot see anything the lights are not there so that is the reason we need the strobe lights because with the mini 3 pro this is the only issue with the drone so now let's go ahead and install the strobe lights on the drone so now it's time to go ahead and actually put on the strobe light to hulk now to make sure uh, you have all your accessories on uh, on the drone uh, the reason why is because i've also put the landing gear because you need to make sure you put on the uh, strobe light in a proper place so there does not obstruct anything any other accessory so if you put it like this over here you won't be able to remove the landing gear so that's the reason we're going to go ahead and put it in this way and the lights on the bottom the button uh, to be on the bottom because when the drone is like this i can actually put my slide my finger in and put on the uh, strobe light so now let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, it's very easy to do it uh, you have two velcros uh, sets of a velcro that is a positive and the negative uh, that actually latch on so you need to put one set on uh, the strobe light and one set has to go on the drone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mismatch mix and match uh, you know the positive and the negative i'll put each one of each on uh, both the sides so it actually holds on more firmly so let's go ahead and do that right now so it's time now we've got the strobe lights of course as i told you earlier as well i'm going to put the button on the lower side and i'm going to stick her right there so make sure you clean the surface so i've actually gone ahead and cleaned the surface so we're going to put one of the positive right now over here so let's remove this put it right here make sure it is in a proper place so that you don't actually go ahead and uh, you know i think this will only one will go but let's try putting both so it gets more grip so yeah both are gone so you can see i have put one of the positives and one of the negatives right here now make sure you actually go ahead and put the right one on top so now you will you see here over here there is a negative and this is the positive so we need to put the positive one on top so let's go ahead and see where we actually have to go ahead and do that so right here so let's go ahead and do we'll actually place it on it so that it sticks firmly right there so we'll place it right there and let's go ahead and stick it there so that's exactly so it's worked actually but i'm trying to actually get this off here so that's how so that's how we've got the perfect setting so it actually worked and we're going to put the second one in there and leave it there as well so the second one is on as well and we're going to go ahead and now that's how easy it is to put the uh, strobe light right there so it's right there it's hanging on let's go ahead and check it one more time so yeah it should be fine can we remove the uh, landing gear let's try doing that as well so the landing gear has to come out from here no right here this is the landing gear and if you see the landing gear has come out so this is the reason i had said 
to actually go ahead and do it properly and have the landing gear in place first and put it there. So you can, you don't need to have the strobe light always on right there. You can always remove it off and put it back on later on. So this is how it looks right now. We have just put it up. It's gone a little crooked. So we'll go ahead and put it right there. So we'll go ahead and remove this guy right here and put him just below this one. So now it should be perfect. Yes. So that's how you put the strobe lights. Now it's time to go ahead and fly and see how it is affected. We have the drone, we have the strobes actually, the strobe light uh, actually fitted to uh, Hulk. You can see she's on right now and the front lights are only lit. So we're going to go ahead and put the strobe light on right now. So press and hold. So we'll put the strobe light, so it's right there. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fly it and see how effective this is. You can see it's actually very bright on my hand as well. So I'll have the remote right here in front of me. Okay. And we'll try and fly her right now. Now Hulk has gone up on the same height. Uh, you can see the strobe light is actually much more powerful than the drone's actual lights. So now let's go ahead and press the record button and see uh, when the lights of the drone go off, how visible is the drone, uh, the strobe lights. So one, two, three. So you see I've pressed recording right now on the RC. The drone lights have gone off, but yes, you can still see the strobe lights. So we'll go up and see how far you can, the strobe lights are visible. Is visible. So she's reached 23 meters, but you can still see her. You can see the moon and her both. So we'll take her off this side. So it's actually worth it. And now we'll try putting off the recording, and we'll show you. You can see the green lights, yes you can see the green lights, but the green light is not, not that visible as how the strobe lights are. Well guys, yes, that was the video for uh, the strobe lights. Of course, uh, Hulk looks much more visible now in the night and I'm going to be, uh, you know, not scared where the drone is. I'll be carefree attitude when I'm flying Hulk in the night because of the strobe light. For all the information of all the accessories, you will find it in the description. Well, this is Mumbai Car Boy saying thank you. See you on the next video. Till then, ride safe and peace out.